Use hashtag NFL or you can super chat to get your questions featured here on NFL Daily. I'm Mitchell Renz, that's Tom Downey, and the easiest way to get featured is to click that super chat button. First question rolling in here is from Jace Carlson. Who starts at the nickel for the Seahawks, Blair, Dunbar, Diggs, or even Flowers? Uh, great question. Um, I'd say in terms of the likelihood, you're probably looking at, at some order of maybe Dunbar plays the nickel corner role and kick Trey Flowers outside when you go to three corner sets. That might make some sense. Quandre Diggs has played nickel before. Yep. If you're trying to get your five best secondary players on the field, you might have a legit argument that uh, Blair or Diggs – or Blair is one of those top five guys, so I'm going to find a way to get him on there. Maybe at free safety, you move Diggs down. Maybe he's in there at nickel. I'd also mention Ugo Amadi. I like him a little bit. Didn't play a whole lot last year, but he's built to handle that nickel corner role. So if I had to power rank them, I'll put Dunbar as the guy who lines up in nickel. As yep. for who the third corner is, which is also kind of what you're asking here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rank it. Uh, I'll put it Flowers, Diggs, Blair, Amadi, but I, you can order those however you want. I can't wait to see what happens in camp. Jason, if you're a Seahawks fan, go check out our Seahawks channel. Jalen, who's the best NFL player that does not have a championship ring? You can choose past or present. Oh, if we're going past, it's Dan Marino. I was just going to say, it's it, Dan it, Marino it's, if it's past. Not even a discussion for me. Um, I would say current NFL player that doesn't have a ring. I mean, I'll say Aaron Donald because I think okay. he's the best NFL I like player that, that doesn't one. have a ring. Um, you can make the argument he's the best player in the NFL. Is there another one that comes to your mind right away? It's a little early for me to say Lamar, but I think you can discuss Lamar in that in there. Okay. Yeah. He's kind of new, but I think you, I think you could include, include him. But I mean, I think it's I think it's pretty clearly Dan Marino. Philip Rivers, and if you're going for longevity, he's had a long career. You could argue that he could make the Hall of Fame. I don't think he does mm -hmm. get in, but I would say maybe Philip Rivers. Jalen, you got any other? I don't answer? mind that one actually. I, I, that's fine. Okay. Cool. So there you go. Those top two. David, what's up, my man? If you're a 49ers fan, I know you are. Go subscribe to YouTube.com slash 49ers TV. Chances of Jarek McKinnon getting comeback player of the year. They say he looks great in camp. So fullback Kyle Juszczyk was doing the whole hype train. I don't know if he said best shape of his life, but it wouldn't surprise me if he did. But, of course, Jarek McKinnon looks good during training camp. I mean, we've, we've played the game before, not necessarily with Jarek McKinnon, but we've played Kinda. this game a lot of – Best shape of life season, you baby. You've played this game before with Jarek McKinnon Look, every year. I, that, I, oh, he could be a boat, Tom. I, I think there is a chance. Um, I think it actually is reduced for McKinnon because you have Tevin Coleman, you have Raheem uh, Mostert. You're not going to feature McKinnon as a 20, 25 carry a game guy. He's, he's, he's you. not going to get, I, mean, I don't think he gets 200 carries this year. So because the comeback player of the year is a statistically based award, I'm not going to get my hopes up, but hopefully, just for McKinnon's uh, you know, career, he, seems to stay healthy. he stays healthy. I hope that he does, and fingers crossed. Who should sign Antonio Brown from Josh B0427? David, I know you're watching. You know what to do. Everyone, start typing FABs <laughs> in the comments section. I mean, there's no doubt that Antonio Brown is a talented player, but you know what? I'm going to make this the pinned comment on today's video because I love the question so much. So, who will sign Antonio Brown? So, for those of you that are watching this right now on YouTube, you might get hit with an ad break. While that ad is playing, I want you to scroll on down and let us know who will sign Antonio Brown. All right, we'll give some shout-outs now mm -hmm. here. I see Chris Ayers saying FAB, Washington, Buccaneers, Seahawks even got thrown in there. Tom, if you had to make a prediction. Who's going to go out and sign Antonio Brown? I will go with the Baltimore Ravens. That is my Ooh. shot. Seattle will sign Josh Gordon. Okay. Take a shot. Uh, Ravens, we also have a video up on our channel, Top Antonio Brown Destination. Please go check it out. Dantherman123, will Chase Young have double-digit sacks this upcoming season? I'm going to say no because it's not easy to do. Max Crosby had it last year as a rookie. I believe Nick Bosa had only nine. It's not an easy thing to do, especially uh, – I will say this, though. Josh Redskins, Allen did it. The Redskins' front is very underrated. It, it's a really good front, which helps and hurts Chase Young. Means he's, he's not going to get double teamed, I don't think, that often, at least especially not early on. It only takes a couple of bonkers games to pull it off. True. I, I think that 10 is actually a pretty darn good over-under for Chase Young as the number two overall pick. They are going to be trailing. What – 
that actually works against him. Really? Because if they're down, oh yeah, duh. they're going to be running the other teams are going to be running the football. So I think I might take the under. But I think he's going to finish around 10 sacks. He is that caliber of player, and I think he ends up winning Defensive Player of the Year, whether it's 9.5, 10, 10 10.5 sacks, whatever he ends up getting. Marvin, are you a Saints fan? If so, let me get a hoot at in the comments section. We want you to shout out your favorite NFL team right now. I run a show for the Raiders. Tom does some stuff for the Cowboys, but we like all NFL teams here. Mm -hmm. uh, We do a lot of different videos, but I see some Seahawks. I see some lions, and then Marvin there you put go. your hoodat in there. He did put my hoodat there in go. there. Speaking of hoodat, Marvin, if you need a Drew Brees player mask, we got you covered. Whoever your favorite player is, that mask is available at the link that you see below. Also, the link that you see in the comment section, chatsportscom player mask. But I will say they are going very quickly. It's not just the ones that you see on screen. Hundreds of players' masks available at that link and they are up to 30 percent off i gotta get me a player mask i got a plenty of raider planet like regular ones i need just a hardcore player mask i believe uh they got josh jacobs they do have a one. josh jacobs one i think they, Tua. they have a Tua one as well khalil mack has been a very very popular mm-hmm. one the brady a, is the most popular no surprise there yeah that's true i also think that though that i like the most about them is the signature it's the, obviously they don't sign each mask but it is their actual it's a, signature. It's a cool touch. Yeah, it's it's awesome. So if you need one, available at the link that you see below. Next question here on NFL Daily. What is the chances of the Hawks, Seahawks, winning the Super Bowl? In terms of chances, you're not going to like this because I feel like anytime I throw out a percentage, and you can agree with me, if I said 10%, people are like, oh, my gosh, that's so low. I mean, that's actually probably pretty good odds I mean, to win a Super Bowl. You guys can do the math. There are 32 NFL teams. You take 10% of that. That's actually a pretty good a pretty good amount of the percentage. So, you know, relative to how many teams there are, I, I think maybe 10, 15. Like, I think Seattle should be viewed as one of the top contenders in the NFC. The I think should. them, the Saints, the Niners, I kind of think it's those three at the top. Pete Gorman, zero. I, I, Pete <laughs> Gorman's an Irish fan. I get it. I, I, I Look, they were damn close last year. A couple breaks go their way. Yep. I want to see them let Russ cook. If they did, I'll feel a lot better about that organization and that Absolutely. team. But, yeah, I think they have a chance. I think that's why they added Jamal Adams. They're going all in for this couple of years that they have you know, Wilson in his prime on his contract. Kevin Otto, what's up, brother? Are there any players before the season starts that you think could still be traded? I mean, I feel pretty confident there will be a trade. I'm not convinced it's going to be anywhere near from a volume perspective as to what we're used to around roster cut time. Yeah. Because the the the, the bigger training camp, those bigger practice squads this year, it's going to be a big players player, down. Though. I don't think it'll be either. I think it maybe maybe like a Dante Pettis, some or or, or a Kenny Stills. Like, I was like Kenny it's, Stills is a good it's one. It's probably not Yannick, I don't think, but maybe yeah. I'll be proven wrong there. It's probably not a Fournette. It's probably someone more in that middle tier. So, Kevin, everyone watching right now, name a player who should be traded, okay? Name a player that should be traded. So, on their current roster, the one player that always comes to my mind, I have a lot of Eagles friends. They're like, I am so sick of Alshon Jeffrey. Mm. I think he's been a big cancer in that locker room. So, for my vote, I am going to go with Alshon Jeffrey. America's team says Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, I see Hooker. I'm going to guess that you mean Malik. <laughs> Taysom Hill, baby. There we go. <laughs> Stephon Gilmore. Yep. Uh, Taysom Hill. Yannick Ngakwe. Patrick Mahomes from Pete Gorman. Interesting. Alex says Dak Prescott. So, if you could, please continue to shout out a player that should be traded. We have Clem Slaw says Dak. Yannick from Chris Ayers. Clem's Law. You, you kind of said that one pretty darn weird. 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 Uh, weird. Reserve flash LeBron James. Uh, it's I mean, we did. Weird sport. We did, wrong we sport. We did specify the Hater sport. Hater Jimmy's not on the show today. So. David and Joku. That's a good one. Ooh, Keyshawn Johnson sighting. I, I didn't anticipate seeing that one. The Cardinals here out of Fresno State. That, one's, uh, that one's pretty fascinating to me. It costs the Bears more money to yeah, trade Cleo Cleo Mack's Mack. not happening. So it's just like Matthew Stafford. It costs lines more to trade him than actually keep him. So. I think they're going to end up keeping him. Uh, Antonio Brown, he's a free agent, so you'd have to go out and sign him. 